intro to the zfill string method in Python. Have you tried this one yet? Let's go. We'll explore a number of quick examples. This will help learners better understand the different aspects of this string method. After watching, you'll be able to explain what zfill width does, how it handles signs, see what happens if width is equal to or less than string length, see an invoice ID example, and we'll know when to use this method and when not to. Zfill, open parentheses, width, close parentheses. Pad zeros on the left until the string's length equals width. If the string starts with a plus or minus sign, zeros go after the sign, not before. If width is less than or equal to the string's length, Zfill returns the original string. Zfill can be used to normalize IDs, product codes, or timestamps so they all share the same width. Zfill is ideal for quick formatting in scripts or the REPL. Avoid it if you need other fill characters or are padding random text. This has been an intro to the zfill string method in Python. Like and subscribe to Python Code Couch for additional concise Python tutorials. And thanks for watching.